So my name is Wendy Kaplan, and my job title is Manager of Country Grain Marketing. But like most titles these days, that tells you all nothing, so let me explain what I actually do. Primarily, and for me, the best part of my job that I enjoy the most is I'm a coach and I'm a mentor to 130 grain buyers at Viterra. I provide grain marketing intelligence, I provide market strategies, market movements, and knowledge to all of our grain buyers at Viterra. As well, I work closely with our merchant group. This group develops grain contracts and I help them make sure these grain contracts work for our farm customers as well as our end users. For those of you interested in education, I have a business administration diploma. I do not come from a farm background. And many women in the industry, I began my career in an administrative role. On this slide is a gentleman whose name is Larry Moore. Larry is a territory manager for Ag Resource and I was his assistant for a few years at the very beginning of my career at Cargill. He sold seed, fertilizer, and chemical, and it was my job to move that seed, fertilizer, and chemical to where it needed to go around the province. Larry continually invested in me. He took time to explain the industry. He took explain the mergers, the consolidation, the acquisitions. He explained who owned what, who did what, and why how the railroads worked, how the grain elevators worked, who was Monsanto and what was GMO. I needed education on all of that, and Larry was there for me. But the important thing about my time with Larry was that he quickly recognized my abilities, and he gave me the confidence to expand my career expectations much further than an admin role. A farmer once called into Larry and I's office, and it was a deal gone bad, things had been messed up. He was angry, I was frustrated, and he got even angrier and he said, enough, I need to talk to a man. And this was 20 years ago, at a time when that was a common language that occurred in this industry. I was frustrated even more, but that's what we did. We passed the phone off to a man and I passed it to Larry, telling him what had happened. Larry picked up the phone and he told the customer quite simply, if you don't deal with Wendy, you don't deal here. And that was dead serious coming from Larry. He handed that phone back to me, I finished the negotiation of the deal, we came to a conclusion. It was life-changing for me to hear that from my boss at that time. That confidence that Larry gave me continues to be my strongest strength and one of the key reasons for my success. I do not allow a room full of males to intimidate me any longer. I probably think of that conversation every day. If you don't want to deal with a female, then don't deal here. It's that quite simple. And that's where we all need to be. I continue to use that same approach, and I continue to use those exact words with any customer that raises a concern with a female completing business on Viterra's behalf. In my mind, it's simply not an option for the room to take me seriously. I have invested, and I continue to invest daily in my education and my knowledge in the grain industry. I put in endless preparation. I read, and I read, and I go to bed with an iPad reading. But when I stand up in front of 200 male farmers and I tell them how they should sell their grain, I tell them how they should run their farm business, I'm confident that I know that sharing my knowledge, my experience, and that the work I've put into understanding this industry is going to benefit their farm business. Being the only female in the room requires courage, but I always encourage healthy conflict in the boardroom. Get your opinions out in the open. Don't say what others like. Don't say what you think they want to hear. If you know the answer, be sure you speak up. Be brave and say your piece. The confidence to speak up and share your knowledge and share the experience that you've gained will be very different as a female. It's what's going to set you apart at the boardroom table. Be confident and make sure your perspective is heard. Defend your opinion, defend your decisions, and don't let anyone bully you even if that means sitting alone at the boardroom table. So I challenge you all, step up, take these opportunities until that day comes where we can call ourselves leaders and not be the female leaders of the industry. Thank you.